going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, a part of the official WeGameHere.com. And today, I want to talk about Black Friday. You know, the dust has settled. Um, we're past Cyber Monday, everything like that. And I want to talk about Black Friday. And I also want to talk about IGN quickly. Now, Black Friday, you know, a lot of people look at it as uh, they're looking for numbers in console sales. Um, you know, the whole console war thing and stuff like that. And I know Aaron Greenberg, uh, an executive with Microsoft at Xbox, came out and said due to the bundles, you know, uh, the X1 had a strong Black Friday. Now, there's no official numbers yet. MPDs aren't, aren't going to be out for a while and stuff like that. But here's the thing. IGN came out with, you know, kind of like a news video. And uh, it's about an article from a website called InfoScout. And it was very PS4 heavy. Not only was it PS4 heavy, it was filled with stipulations to make it PS4 heavy. Now, first stipulation is... Um, they're dealing with mobile receipts. That's what InfoScout was tracking. They were tracking about 250,000 mobile receipts. And there is no way that only 250,000 consoles were sold on Black Friday. Just let that sink in. It's common sense. There are more than 250,000 consoles. Way more. All right. Now, next stipulation was they were talking about the quote-unquote millennia generation. So they were talking about people age 18 to 35 and with that you know IGN looked at InfoScout and they're like oh wow according to InfoScout there was an 8% increase you know in PS4 sales within that generation and it was constantly PS4 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 they did come across and talk about middle agers and they said that you know the X1 had a slight edge with that generation but as soon as they said that, they went straight back to PS4 and said, but hey, PS4 has a 3% increase there as well. Um, can anybody see what's going on here? Like, it, everything was about PS4, and the one time that they talked about the X1, they went straight back to PS4. Um, sounds, sounds a little peculiar to me. <laughs> I, I don't necessarily, you know, trust what IGN says, okay? I used to... I used to have their app on my 360. I used to, you know, watch their their daily news shows and stuff like that. Um, I don't really do it anymore. Uh, I, I've seen some some craziness coming from them at IGN, and I really just don't deal with them anymore. But all in all, you know, Black Friday was a good day for console gamers. Um, all consoles sold really well. Even the Wii U. The Wii U was bundled with uh, Splatoon and Smash Brothers, and that sold well. Um, just to go back, another one of the stipulations, they even started talking about how much money like Sony, uh, Sony made at Best Buy selling consoles. So if they were selling their more expensive consoles, they weren't selling more consoles, but they were, they were making more money. All right? And, and it's just the way that it's worded. Um, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to put the, the link to the IGN video in the description below. And I definitely want to hear you guys hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Do you see kind of like the swaying in words and stuff that's going on within this video? Um, as usual, if you like my video, definitely give it that thumbs up. Uh, definitely hit up the comment section. I want to know what you guys think. And uh, as always, subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox. 448. And I am definitely signing off. Wide and dirty, just too wide and nerdy. Think I'm just too wide and nerdy. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy?